All right, we back with the Boxing Link and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We talking about, you know, how do you or how to start your own sports channel, boxing channel. You know, that's what I can speak on. I have two channels. Uh, one, um, I just talk local sports on. And um, I haven't even been on there a year, and it's growing. And I took a nice chunk of time out of the year off of the channel, and um, it's growing like hot fire. And I obviously had this channel going on two years, well, going on three years now. And uh, what I learned is you have to you have to always be looking to make adjustments and be innovative with your channel. But here goes some few basics, uh, you know, nothing really in order about, you know, how to build a, a, a good channel, you know. You know, one, you know, number one, I would say, in no specific order, I'm just naming them all, one, you got to find out how you're going to do your videos, you know. Um, are you going to do it on a computer? You know, uh, are you going to do it on the phone? You know, you got to learn how the basics of editing some of your videos. And um, and whatever platform you're going to use, maybe video, Windows a Video Maker or you're going to pay for a Video Maker, whatever it may be. Or you got somebody that can edit up and chop it up your videos and can show you the ropes. It's probably... Your best bet to spend the money uh, up front, you know, if you're really going to commit to doing this videos, you know, uh, you know, pay for a good editor uh, version or whatever you're going to do, you know, that's that's pretty simple right there. And uh, two would be uh, how consistent are you going to be your, you know, your 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 community or your subscriber base has to be, you know, knowing when you're going to drop videos, you know, for me. Uh, I usually like to pick time slots when I first started out, man. Just I want to drop a video here, here, here. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I want to drop my videos. Anything that falls in between there, breaking news, that's how I'm going to do it. You got to be consistent. You know, very consistent, man. Nobody want to see you drop a video Monday. You don't drop a video to Friday. You know, no. When you drop a video one day this week, and I, you got to commit to it, man. You really got to commit to to your channel. Commit to your grind and show people that you take this very, very seriously. You know. Um, and, and that's, that's, that's a big part of having a channel, man. You know, that's a huge part. You know, there's some people that got some shitty video quality, you know what I'm saying? But they consistent and what they saying out their mouth is adding up, you know, and, and they giving, they getting a good subscriber base, you know? Uh, and then again, you want, in the third, you want to know what you're talking about, man. You want to know, uh, you know, are you going to improvise? You're going to read off a notebook or you're going to have a computer there you're reading off of. Um, you got to be able to pronunciate. You got to be able to 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 be able to articulate your words and your thoughts and you gotta be able you gotta be able to do that you know how you gonna get it out there you gonna you gonna you gonna uh, just read off a of paper or are you gonna improvise and mainly you know I improvise you know what I'm saying if I gotta read something word from word I screenshot it and put it in there you know for the most part me improvising and uh, just going off the top kind of keeps my brain sharp sharp you know uh, and, and four you gotta have tough skin man. You know, with these commenters and and, and, and the different people coming on your uh, your channel, you must have thick, thick skin, man. Thick, thick skin. You know, you can't be a punk. You can't be blocking everybody. You can't be doing this and that. If you're going to be on the Internet and you're going to say something, if you're right, wrong, or in between because there's nobody's perfect, you know, if you ain't got the thick skin, I'll, I'll advise you, you know, not to even try the channel. And, um, you know, fifth, you got to, you know, uh, pick your niche. You know, pick your niche. Like, what do you want to talk about? You know, for me, I started off with a boxing channel, and I want to be more than a boxing channel. So I kind of grew into another, you know, another phase of the channel, and it wasn't easy. You know what I'm saying? So in the beginning, do you know you like more than boxing, or you, you want to talk about other things? Kind of come up with a name that can kind of, you know, a broad name that can cover all the horizons you want to hit, you know? But if not, you want to stick to speaking boxing, baseball, relationship advice, current news, whatever it may be then that is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, but if you, you you know you're going to want something else, kind of get a name and be able to finesse it at some point. You feel me? And then your titles. You know, how you title your video is very, very important. That's how you that's how you engage and, and draw and draw the subscribers in, you know. You, you can say something like Triple G, KOs, you know, uh, you know Martin Murray and 3. I mean, that's not too engaging. Or you could say Triple G... Ice Ice Baby, you know, sends Martin Murray away in three. That's a little bit more engaging right there, you know what I'm saying? A lot more engaging, you know? It's just how you wordplay and um, how you get in when you fit in at. 
you know, but being consistent with your videos, that, that's that's a, a that's imperative. And then, you know, also you want to know if you want to do pick slides or you want to, you know, pick side voiceover. You want to show your face for me. I do both because I, I think, you know, peer to peer, face to face interaction is very, very important. But how many uploads I upload a day? I can't do it that way because it takes too long over cellular and Wi-Fi to upload those videos. So pick slides upload easier for me. But I go live and I do a face to face uh, video every now and again. Just to interact with, with everybody else. So it's just a few things that you got to figure out what you want to do. But if you want to be successful, man, in doing this, man, you got to have strong skin. You got to be consistent with your video output. Um, you don't have to have a high output. You just got to be consistent. You're going to drop one video a day. Make sure you drop that one video a day and have your subscribers coming you coming back. You can't pop up and do a video one day and then two or three weeks later do a video and wonder why, you know, people are not listening to your videos and don't care if you upload or not. Because you're not staying relevant. You got to stay relevant. And I know a lot of people that got a problem with that. You know, once you go, you go cold and you out, out, you know, the YouTube game, I know this for a month or, or you take some time off, extended time off. Even though it say you got 5,000, 10,000 subscribers, I seen guys with that. My numbers are better than theirs. Once you step away like that, you know, your subscribers forget about you. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of build, you know, build that trust back up with them again that you're going to get them viewed. You know, you're going to be consistent with those those videos again. Cause you go away and you upload a video, yo, and I seen people. I'm not gonna say no channel's name. They ain't been shit, and it took them a few months to get back. You know, at least you know where they want to be at, or at least kind of in a decent, in a decent zone. You know what I'm saying? And they, you know, it is tough. You don't ever want to use lose your base. You know, if sometimes shit happens, you get sick or whatever. You go through hard times. You know, it is what it is. And then one of the, one of the final things I want to speak about is keeping it clean. If you're going to talk about highly controversial things, um, you're not going to be able to monetize on, on YouTube anymore. Monetization is where you're able to earn money, earn earnings um, through YouTube after you reach a thousand subscribers and so many watch hours or watch minutes, excuse me. And if you are on here cussing, race baiting, um, talking about, you know, a lot of controversial things, YouTube will not and Google ads will not accept you as for monetization. And your channel was under review. Somebody manu manually reviews your channel to see if the content is uh, sufficient enough or as it meets the uh, meets the uh, community guidelines. Ever since a lot of race baiting videos came on and AT and T and these different ads came on, and they were being associated uh, with these race baiting or highly controversial videos, and they and like I think AT and T and a couple more. You know, you know, highly, you know, highly, uh, you know, high, highly profile ads and big money ads dipped out of Facebook. It took away the earnings off of Facebook and it made them come out with these monetization rules. These monetization rules ain't always been been like the wild, wild west. When people start associating race bait and highly controversial videos to these ads, a lot of the ads pulled out. A lot of money came out of uh, YouTube's pocket. But you see Facebook trying to pick up the ball and they trying to start their own uh you know monetization thing and facebook creator and they trying to you know clear the board and trying to bump out youtube so um yeah that's, so that's what's going on so you want to make sure your channel is clean don't mean you can't cuss or whatever it may be but you want to keep it to a minimum and you don't want a lot of you know race baiting and and the stuff of that nature and then probably one of the last things you want to know is this copyright infringements you can't have music in your background unless you cleared it and it's a lot of hoops to go through certain music you want to go with royalty free background music or something like that um, also you can't record every clip and put it on here. You can get strikes on here. And once you start to accumulate strikes, they can ban your channel, suspend your channel, completely delete it. You got to start all over. So it's rules to, and I, you know, advise people to read the rules and, and there's just a few, a few things that I, I put into, you know, uh, building a channel. And also, you know, I hustled on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I was thought outside the box, even though I put my videos right on there. You know, and it's takeaway views, but it drew people to subscribe at some point in time. So just a few tips 